Hi, welcome to this video on how to add sim ready assets to a simulated scene in Isaac Sim. We'll see how to load a ready scene in Sim and how we can very quickly and easily add a bunch of assets or 3D objects to the scene. You'll see how we can use this collection of sim ready assets to create very realistic and physically accurate simulations. This is the Isaac Sim GUI. Here, let's open up the Environments tab. And here, let's pick a scene. Let's start with the simple warehouse scene. This has a couple of different warehouse scenes. Um, some are quite simple, but let's pick the multiple shelf scene. This takes a few seconds to load. In this scene, we'll see a bunch of different warehouse objects. And we'll be adding some sim ready assets to this scene. So here we see the warehouse scene. It already has some containers, some boxes, shelves, some pallets. And now let's see how to add more objects and sim ready assets here. So let's go to the window tab on top, go to browsers and sim ready explorer. Click on the tab that opens up at the bottom. Here on the left, we'll see a bunch of different sim ready assets. Let's check one of these out. So I clicked on the palette. And here you can see a bunch of different properties. So it, ha it has the rigid body behavior, some dimensions, and just drag and drop it onto your screen. So you can also adjust its position here using your mouse in the GUI. And on the right, you'll see a bunch of different properties for that object that we just added. So you'll see the asset path. You'll see that it's a rigid body. So it follows certain default physical properties. There's a cast shadows option. There are some extra properties that you can edit here as well. And of course, there are some default properties that come with your sim ready asset. And you can view all of these in the on the right of your screen over here. So now let's try changing the position a little bit and maybe adding one other object to our scene. So let's look at the go to equipment traffic cone and then add one of the traffic cone objects. Again, let's see some of its basic properties. And then we can just drag and drop it wherever we want to place it in our scene. So you can see it's rendered and then some more properties on the right. Feel free to adjust its location again. I've raised them from the floor slightly. Let's see what happens when we play the simulation. So they fall to the ground. This is because the gravity property has been enabled by default. So this is just a quick test about the physics properties of sim ready assets. And at the bottom here, you can view all the different sim ready assets. It's a big collection. So you can see some containers, different boxes and crates. There's some shipping containers as well. Feel free to explore this collection and use any and all objects that you need in, in your scene. And it's as easy as drag and drop.